All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys what a $75,000 brick looks like, what it's for, how it works, and you get to decide where you want to keep it. So this is our $75,000 capacity brick. There's the top. This is the bottom. It's our logo there. Of course, it's very shiny. So this is designed to hold cash. Obviously, you can put whatever you like into it. So I'm gonna load this for you guys right now. So this is real American currency. And I recommend you when you load the bricks, especially with the blue bills, you alternate. So instead of putting all the heads one way, this little blue strip in here, this can mess you up. It'll start to get too tall on one side. So there's 20,000. There's 30,000. And we've got <clears throat> 10 more. Makes 40. 10 more makes 50. <clears throat> 10 more makes 60. It's really important you alternate these, otherwise it's gonna end up all to one side and uh, it'll be very hard to, uh, to get it closed. Here's 10 more, makes 70. It looks like it's way too tall to fit in there, but it's not. All you're going to do is, and I just realized I put these in there backwards, but you know what, I'm not gonna stop the video. You guys have already seen how much this is, so. <clears throat> do 40. 50. Sixty, seventy, and you can stop there, or you could actually just about fit seventy-seven. I'm going to stop it at seventy-five. So there's some old bills; those are kind of dirty. I'll take the paper clips off of these. This is another five thousand here. Two clips at twenty-five. I have to put those on top, or you can put them on bottom either way, it doesn't really make much difference. Now the 75s <clears throat> need to go against each other. These are made one way. So here it says the brick. Here it says the brick. You're going to keep these two pieces together. Just line it up. Set it down. And take the bolts that we provide for you, which are very nice bolts. We customize those. And this tool we also provide. So starting to grab a hold there. All you really gotta do is make sure it's straight for the first two. Get those started. Okay, now it's started. Let's put more in the center. Get other two bolts. Get them going. And I'm wearing white gloves, not for theatrics, but because this just got finished being polished. <clears throat> and I don't want to uh, put fingerprints all over it. Now this one's more of a, a display look good brick. Uh, but we do have, uh, well, when they're first made, they're not, uh, they don't look like this. So a lot of our clients end up buying a brick that's not finished. When I say not finished, it works just the same, but it's not all fancy. It doesn't have uh, polished bolts and polished everything else. It's just, you know, the color of aluminum after it's cut which is fine for the utility of it. That's obviously fine. 
but for people like me who like really cool looking stuff, we offer polished bolts. Uh, we also do slots, if you like, that uh, you can slip gold coins into. We have a lot of people who keep jewelry. Uh, we've made them a little bit larger uh, for people to keep cigars in them. So you can put whatever you want in them. But it was designed to hold cold hard U.S. currency. And if you live in a country where U.S. currency is what you guys use and it's a different size, we can accommodate any size currency you like. So there it is. This one does not have any design to it really. This is uh, just our normal pattern we use on most of our stuff. So there it is. There's the brick. So I will bust that open real quick. <clears throat> and just to make sure I didn't change anything. This is one fluid shot, which I like doing those. And one more and we're done. I really stuffed this full. I could have probably fit maybe another two or three thousand dollars in there. Ish. There's our bolts. So here is five, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, <clears throat> and 20 more. <clears throat> As you can see, this one perfectly holds 75,000 bucks. See you guys.